Hi guys, this is Jay from Yabo Product Team. Hi guys, this is Rachel from Yarbo's marketing team. As we draw closer to the shipping date of our Snowblower S1, we want to take you guys on a detailed journey through the evolution of Yarbo during the past year. We've implemented major upgrades on both the hardware and software size, making the wait well worth it. So welcome to our Yabo Snow Lab. We make a different type of snow here, like for example the big uh, pack snow, and ch big of chunk of ice, a fluffy snow over there. We have two different type of uh, machine, snow maker machine. Working day, uh, seven twenty four hours, day and night to make sure Yabo gets fully tested. Okay. Okay, and now let's dive into the major differences between Yabo Yabo ten twenty three and twenty two version. I'll focus on the hardware size, and Jay will dive into the software and algorithms behind this. Starting with the snowblower module, you will notice a major enhancement in the bumper design. We've introduced a longer bumper with very sensitive sensors embedded, which can detect even the slightest pressure to ensure the utmost safety. But that's not all. We've gone the extra mile by incorporating two additional safety layers. So firstly, the side cameras embedded on both sides of Yarbo can detect a pedestrian or an obstacle within a 16 feet range. And secondly, the front camera and the millimeter wave radar can detect a pedestrian or an obstacle within a 3 feet range. And even when the side cameras, the front camera and the millimeter wave radar are all shut down, we still have the bumper serve as the last defense to protect your family and your property. Moving on to the auger part, comparing to the previous version, you will see a big change in the structure of it. We've widened the intervals and increased the thickness of the auger from 2 mm to 3 mm, preventing the snow from getting stuck. And on the auger, we've made an improvement. We've switched from non prickable shear pins to breakable shear pins. This means when Yarbo encounters top obstacles such as stones or hard branches, the, the shear pins will break first, preventing the auger from keep spinning, making it safe and sound. And also, we've added the auger housing to hide the big guy inside, making it even safer. And on this side of the Yarbo, we've added a adjustable ski shoe to help Yarbo conquer different kinds of terrains, even the uneven ones. Moving on to the snowshoe part, we've added a cover right here to prevent the chute neck from getting frozen in extreme snow conditions. And inside the chute, we've upgraded the chute rotation sensor to be waterproof and ensuring a greater reliability. Now, let's shift our focus to the main body of Yarbo. Take a look at of these two versions. You will notice we extended the height of the Athena. So during our onset testings in the Great Lake areas, Toronto, Canada, and our snow lab, we noticed that during very heavy snowfall, the Athena might be covered with snow, affecting its signal. But now, with the longer version, this will be non-issue. And in summertime, if you're using Yarbo Slum Mover, you can actually replace the Athena to a shorter version to give you guys a more visually appealing look. Moving on to the track part, comparing to the previous version, as you guys can notice, the snow up built up between the track and the board. But now, for our current version, although not visible, we've actually added a board inside the track to prevent snow from entering. And for the outside board, we've made a slight reduction, resulting in a larger clearance. And these changes are aimed at avoiding snow buildup between the track and the board, which will cause it to become jammed. With this increased clearance, the snow can be effect effectively pushed out when Yarbo is in operation. Last but not the least, let's talk about the rear part of Yarbo. Comparing to the previous version, we've limited a little bit of this part. As you guys can see, to create a larger clearance, and this will prevent Yabu from getting stuck in snow. And if you take off the cover, you're going to see a QR code right here. Simply scan it with uh, your Yarbo's app and you'll be connected to a Yarbo and you're all set to go. And now 
Jay's gonna dive into the software upgrades and algorithms behind the scenes. Uh, in terms of the Yabo application and the software upgrades, uh, we do made a lot of change on application side. Uh, it's a big challenge for us for this year, but we made it. For the application part, we add more features such as uh, weather detection, uh, find my Yabo whitelist, and uh, we also improve the UI uh, user experience uh, improvement. And next part, we have a uh, lot of change on our, our algorithm part. Uh, for example, the bomb detection algorithm. The clever piece of this tag is all about helping Yabo tackle different type of service on your driveway. We have done te some testing in US and Canada in last year. And we found out it's not always the deep snow that tripped Yabo during the cleaning. It's all about the sneaky bumps and the dents on your driveway. But we got fixes. Yabo is now armed with the ability to lift up its snowblower module uh, by the linear by its linear actuator in the advance when it sends those bumpers. That means the smoother cleaning and the better efficiency all around. The next part we will focus on the intelligent obstacle strategy. As you guys are well, obstacle avoidance involves three processes perception, role planning, and decision making. During the perception stage, Yabo takes a role of the classifier, dividing objects into two main groups snow and non snow. Going even deeper within the non snow category, Yabo making a distinguish between stationary obstacle and those in motion. When Yabo detects moving obstacle, it stops and waits until the obstacle is out of the way. However, when Yabo dealing with a stationary obstacle, Yabo will find the optimal route for effective snow cleaning. For Yabo, uh, the maximum driving speed will not exceed 0.8 meter per second which is relatively lower compared with intelligent automobiles. This is mean that Yabo has enough time to perceive and make a decision to find a safety road on the cleaning area. I understand that you're interested in having Yabo navigating around the human and pass automatically instead of stay in pool. However, we made a, a deliberate choice not to avoid human for safety reasons. Now I will give you guys a tool to check how the Yabo conquer different type of snow. The fluffy snow here and uh, the big chunk of ice and the uh, uh, packed snow. It's pretty hard. And this is the ice. Okay, let's check it out how it works.
We hope you guys enjoyed this video. It has been challenging for us, but we made it with your guys' support. And if you guys have any further questions, please send us an email to this following address, and we're excited to deliver your vote to your doorstep this winter. Thank you, guys. Thank you.